welcome back to my channel i've uh, got a new mic today hopefully it sounds better today i'm gonna pop some faces with reactor fast face swap reactor face swap there you go so we've got reactor face swap everything face restore model i'm going to use code former you can also use gfp gan version 1.1.4 restore former we actually let's try each one and see what the difference is input image uh, load image Let's see what we got. We got Lindsay Morgan from uh, the 100. I'm going to use that one. Save that one. Put that into input image. Um, preview. A preview image here. Uh, we need a source image. Uh, load image. Load. Image, say Emma Watson. I'm going to put that into source image. Up. Input is that one. Source is that one. So, key prompt. You don't need no case sampler or anything. This is the full workflow. And go to follow execution. And there you go and let's try the same thing with a different model so zoom out a bit and do the same thing but this time we're going to take the outputs and put it in a image compare it'll be right about no Huh. We had some issues where I had to delete some files or restore some files after doing a update via manager. So manager, uh, update all, never do that. Never do that unless you go back up. Okay, so we're going to change this to gfp gan and run both of them and see which one looks better that's already done this is going to do that again and they're going to chuck both of them over here so we can go over here and see what the difference is so this is code former and this is gfp gan zoom in i don't know which one looks better you decide zoom in here as far as we can go eyes changed the nose the shape of the nose has changed a bit okay let's try a different face um the source images uh say this one I try this one key prompt okay so we got gonna zoom in that's code former and this is Jeff again which one looks better Seems the position of the light has changed. Okay, so you can use source image and input image to do this. Or let's get rid of these. What you can also do is move this here, here, put the model in there, and input image. Could add input image here. Preview there. And say input image um, 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 that. And we can run this. So 
let's get rid of a follow ex stop following execution that's the input image takes this face puts it onto that image there that's the input image takes this face puts it onto that there and you can expand keep expanding till uh, you don't want to expand uh input image um let's see change this to that one prompt there you go it's that same face from this lady here yeah yeah and here that looks no longer a cartoon or any float right where did it move it to okay so we need i need to erase this better so that's one way of doing it another option is use a face model now if you don't have a face model you could do a reactor load face model so this goes here if you don't have one there it's going to use the image be no difference yep no difference now we can use i'm going to use this one now i don't know if it's going to use the image or the model or crash Okay, so you use the model. I don't know what the model is. If you don't have a model, you can create one. Like reactor, safe face model. So what you do, load image. Put this there and uh, run. Now we need to do refresh and it should give us the option of default. Oh, the default let's change this to say um brunette and run this and it's going to use this face for default here too let's wait for this to finish they used um he actually which one did it use i don't know which one to use Get rid of this face model. Let's see if it changes. It did change. So oh, it was actually using the load image. So you can create your model. And if you say we've done a brunette, we do F5 to refresh. Go back here. And you got brunette there. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll put a link of the workflow in the description, though it's easily creatable.